Hello, this is V6WZ uh, up at the remote location um, just east of Sundry, Alberta. Um, I thought I would make a video uh, showing the new 160 meter transmit antenna. I do have a video already which um, explained how I shunt fed the US tower, but I've since now added two parasitic elements, um, which you can see there's um, uh, one in the foreground and one in the background and to the left of course is the shunt fed tower. It's the US tower HDX 589 MDPL crank up on the top is the 80 meter and 40 meter Yagi uh, interlaced on a 30 uh, foot boom and on the very top is a force 12 high band uh, Yagi. Um, in a prior video as I say I did describe the shunt fed tower um, and explain the ground radial system which um, uh, radiates out from the tower uh, under the fenced in area as you can see um, in order to provide an adequate radial system for the new parasitic elements the radials each have a hundred feet and they now extend outside the fenced area to provide um, an adequate um, ground system for the uh, parasitics. Uh, each parasitic is uh, 75 feet high it's a uh, four inch uh, aluminum irrigation tubing and on the top uh, they're they're top loaded with two diagonal wires um, symmetrically um, dropping from the top of each uh, element um, though, though you can't you can't see them I might mention I also have a paper that I wrote which describes the details of the how I've tuned and um, set up the parasitic array and I encourage you to look at that I provide more detail I just want to provide an overview of uh, the system the element in the foreground the parasitic in the foreground uh, is um, tuned in order to act as a reflector uh, together with the US tower to either beam to Europe uh, as a reflector or tuned as a director in which case it um, provides forward gain to Oceana the element in the um, background uh, tuned as a reflector will provide gain to Japan and as a director uh, to South uh, South America uh, I'm going to walk um, closer and maybe provide a bit of uh, close-up of the base uh, of the antennas moved a little closer to the uh, one of the parasitic elements here and I I'm not sure if it will show up but it may in the video but uh, each 75 foot element has uh, three sets of three guy wires one at 70 feet uh, one at 43 feet and uh, one set at 23 feet and each um, and, and there's three of those uh, sets of three and they are tied to um, the guy points are uh, three and a half inch steel fence posts which have been uh, driven and um, or rather um, cemented into the ground I don't think you can see the others they're off uh, just behind the fence uh, each of the uh, guy anchor points um, the um, antenna was assembled on the ground obviously the tubing the four inch irrigation tubing comes in 40 foot lengths um, and it was a uh, 40 foot length was spliced together with the 35 uh, foot length and riveted I've described that in more detail in my paper but essentially the uh, lying down the tubing it was hinged at this point at the bottom of the base which you can see this is a four by four post which was cemented into the ground some two by six blocks and a half inch bolt runs through the through the uh, base of the vertical the base by the way is insulated with four inch PVC pipe uh, and there's a joint um, in the middle uh, in and around about a f one foot up inside you can't see it but there's a piece of tubing here and then the main element goes up from here and in fact this is the the uh, there's an access point where I, I maintain connection to the uh, to the feed point laying down the vertical was simply raised using uh, my man lift uh, and a, <laughs> a boat winch and um, I pulled it up and guided off I was able to do it uh, 
by myself with uh, using the uh, man lift. I'm just going to walk over to the other parasitic. Uh, I had opened that box again. Here's another guy point, and not sure if the guy wires will show up on this uh, vertical. Uh, this is what I call the south west vertical, which when it's tuned as a reflector provide gain provides gain to Europe and as a director to Oceania. At each at the base of each uh, element is the tuning box. Um, again described in a paper I wrote, but in the box there are a set of relays which um, are able to switch in uh, coils to move the resonance point uh, across uh, the band um, and the reason for that as described in my paper is uh, this array has been tuned to maximize gain and whenever you tune a parasitic array to maximize gain you sacrifice bandwidth but my decision was to uh, vote for ban for uh, for gain rather than uh, than bandwidth um, the ground system extends uh, outward from each of these, as I mentioned, and is integrated into the steel fence and out beyond, beyond the fence as well. The switch box is driven with Cat5 cable, which is buried and trenched. Uh, the central tower uh, is the, uh, the driver, as it were, in the case of a parasitic uh, array, it's the driver. Um, and it's um, a grounded tower. I can't, it's not series fed, so I've, uh, I've uh, just used the shunt fed tower. I don't know if you can see the shunt wire to the right of the tower with the shunt arms. And it's uh, one section down from the top. That's the gamma wire. And it goes into the, uh, the feed box. I have the ability, I've, I've, I've um, configured the um, matching matrix at the, at the feed box at the shunt uh, tower to switch each element either as a director reflector but also to tune it as an in omni in other words i will float each of the parasitics and be able to use the tower st alone in the, the traditional omni uh, mode so that's it that's the basics of the uh the uh, i call it a three element array but really it's a two element array at any one time